Welcome to the Black History Project. This is the project that you will be completing over your February break. So historians, you're going to be researching, writing a comparative essay about, and making a display project that compares and contrasts two famous African Americans. So here are the steps. First, you have to choose two famous African Americans, and you must pick from the list that we provide. Next step, you got to research them. You got to read the text that we provide um, or visit the links um, to videos to learn more. You got to take notes and keep track of where you found the information. Then step three, you got to write your essay, following the prompt and using the graphic organizer in the Google Doc. And then you have to write a, create a visual. You can draw it yourself or you can make a Google Slides. Then the fifth and final step, post your work on Padlet. This set of slides that I'm going to go through with you has detailed information on how to do each step of the project. So let's look. Step one, choose two famous African Americans. So there are a lot of very famous people. Some you know, some you might not know. Choose two that interest you. Maybe you want to do a little research on them in advance before you choose your two famous African Americans. Once you've chosen them, it's time to research. You need to make sure that you're taking notes and keeping track of where you found the information. So you can do this in your notebook or you can type it in a Google Doc and attach it to the assignment. Either way, we want to see your notes. And as part of your notes, in addition to all this information about each person, the first famous person and the second famous person, you need to include the resources. What were the videos? What were the websites or titles of articles where you found the information? You need to do that for both of the two famous people that you're doing. Third step, um, oh, before we move on to the third step, our step two, here are some links to some text and videos um, about these people. Also, if you click down here, there's even more information about some of these really famous, famous people. So lots of places to start. I'm going to ask that you start there. Um, it's going to be really helpful to use our resources to do this research. Okay, now we're ready for step three. You're going to write your essay. You have to follow the prompt and you're going to use a graphic organizer in the Google Doc. Here's the question you're going to be answering. Now, if it's helpful to you, in the assignment, I've included my example essay about a different topic. It's the one I used for when we did Explorers. So if it's helpful for you to look at another example to see how that work looks, you're welcome to use that to help you do this work. Either way, your essay has to be four to five paragraphs in length and be typed in the Google Docs graphic organizer. You're familiar with this. You're going to use your uh, tools up at the top, like transitions, to help you. You want to use your checklist to make sure that you include everything. And you're going to write your essay in the white space provided. Finally, once you're done with the essay, you're going to create a visual. Now you can draw this or you can make um, a Google Slides um, or Jamboard and post the visual on Padlet. Um, you get to decide how you're going to create your visual. Um, and you got to pick which one you think you, you like best. I have included some slides that can help you to do this work. On the slides is a double timeline, some space to do a compare and contrast, and some a Venn diagram. You choose one of them and decide which one of them you want to do. Or you can draw it yourself. Up to you. All right, finally, you got to post it on Padlet. There's a link here. Um, it's also linked in the assignment. Everything has to make sure is posted up on Padlet. Here is a little checklist to make sure you have all the things. And then when you're finally done, post it on Padlet. Any questions, make sure that you comment privately in the assignment and your teacher will get back to you. Good luck.